I'm Chris. And I'm Gina. And, and we, we are Hollywood Hunter. I'm getting ready to paint the bottom portion right here. This is going to be a granite marble type looking board and it's going to go around the bottom of the ticket booth. So I wanted to show you guys how I do that. So the first step is I'm going to put my base color and this is just kind of like a gray. I just mixed a bunch of colors together to get that gray. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that first. All right. So I went ahead and painted the whole thing. Um, not the back, but I got all the four edges as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sponge and this is just one of those sea sponges I got from the craft store. I'm going to start taking the paint and mixing it with, I have four different colors. So I have white, black, dark gray, light gray, and then I just kind of pat it right here and then I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try to do it left-handed so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just taking this and I'm going in all different directions and different places and this will be my first layer of sponging sorry about the sound And then I go back and I'll grab some white and some gray. And I'll go back. This is fun holding a camera and trying to do a project left handed. <laughs> Not turning out too bad. So now I miss this whole corner up here. I'll go back. Let's get some black in there, some dark gray. And make sure if you guys are gonna try this that you keep twisting your sponge. That way you don't get the same pattern repeated over and over and you keep going and twisting in different directions. already done a couple of these and this is my last one and I wanted to show you guys not the best video footage but we'll make do with what we got right all right as you guys can see it's starting to take shape a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and keep layering this and I'll show you the finished product so here are my different pieces and I like that each one turns out differently. And it does that because every time you put your sponge back into the plate or the paint, you get a different pattern when it comes out. All right, and that's how to fold marble granite style. Walls, walls, everywhere walls. Look at all these walls. What we're doing is I'm priming Chris is putting these little pop-up boxes on the sides of these wall panels because they're going to look like this right here. And you're thinking, what is that? That is a pop-out to the wall. You're like, I know, Gina, I know. <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. This is a um, piece of marble. Well, it will be, which will be cool. Look, here's another one. This is fun. And let's see what we have over here. Ooh, this one's almost getting ready. Look at that nice little pink color. Ooh wee. But look at this. We got some doors here. These doors are mighty fine. Rusted kick plates. Got some trim and gold. Some chains. Some door handles, some windows. We're not sure if we're gonna have time to put plexi in there or not, so I'm gonna paint those black. And we're gonna have some trim and some pink, and we've got another one right here. So that's what we're doing. We're working on all these walls so we can finish them and set them up and put the roof on. 
then I can age more. Ha 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 ha. Because that's going to be the fun part. Destroy the set. <gasps> Chris comes up to me and he says, hey, I got a job for you, Gina. I go, what? He goes, unscrew all these light bulbs and put them in the box. Oh, that sounds like a fun job. Thanks, Chris. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> and all of these, too. Oh, well. Let's, let's get going. 248. 249. 250. I'm making Chris do that next time. We only have a couple more nights. So we're trying to burn as much as we can of the daytime. But it's basically night now. There's the moon under the tree right there. It's looking good. I just need to age the tar out of this thing. Yes! <laughs> I'm adding a little dimension to the outside of the cinema because this would be a building on the outside anyway. So I went for a big cinder block look and all we did was cut pieces of Luan and added them with glue and then stapled them on and we gave them about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch mortar gap right there. Little bunny! <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is mud it. Just got done mudding this side and I used mortar. And I just used, you know, a trowel, float, that kind of stuff, and then a big squishy sponge to get in there. And a lot of my finger, because I went in each one of those grout lines and then put the excess on the thing to give it a little bit of texture. So now I'm going to do the other side. And once that's done, I am going to have to sand all of this. Bondo. I primed the wall because it was bare wood and then I laid down my base color. Now depending on how much you want to age, you're going to need two regular neutral colors. So I have a brown and a light gray and then I also have a tray for white. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take this big sponge, the bigger the sponge the better, and I'm going to start with the brown and I'm just going to liberally put sponge marks all the way around and try not to do the same pattern. Just giving you guys a little update here of the progress so far. I'm going to work on the bricks right now. I spent all day working on the ticket booth yesterday, but I'm figuring since time is running out and the bricks are going to be mostly latex paint, it needs a couple days to dry. So I'm going to focus on that and the granite around the doors today because the ticket booth is mostly done. So yeah, you guys, we're getting there, getting somewhere. And then I got to do the ceiling and age it. Oh, you guys, it's going to look so good. Yay! Yeah.